one issue I've had with this grizzly lathe is that the banjo is so short. They do call what, they have what they call a tool rest extension for doing outboard turning. The headstock can rotate, which would be kind of nice maybe. But every time I've tried to use that extension, as they call it, it's just been, I don't know, floppy loose in there and led to more vibration. It's just been kind of scary to me. So I don't ever use that, and that limits my reach with the banjo. When I contacted Grizzly about the issue, they told me that the banjo had been superseded for a different model on a different lathe, and both have been discontinued. The Grizzly customer service suggested that maybe one of the banjos from their 12-inch swing-over bed lathes might work. Since this is a 14-inch swing-over, I didn't hold, hold out a whole lot of hope for that. There are not a lot of lathes that have a 14 inch swing. I know Jet has one, Grizzly even has another one, and then there's the Robust Scout. I don't doubt that I missed some manufacturer of lathes. Anyway, I was looking for a third party banjo. When my brother-in-law purchased his Robust Scout lathe, I looked up the specs on that and I thought, hey, that's a 14 inch swing. I might be able to use that. I like the idea of buying US made and was impressed by the videos I saw of their tool rest clamp on the Sweet 16 and American Beauty lathes. There are two wedges that grip the tool rest securely. If it's in the way on one side, just slip it out and put it in from the other side. I think what you'll like best about it is how well it grips the tool rest. In a grizzly banjo, sometimes the tool rest would shift and it didn't seem all that secure. It has a plastic handle tool rest clamp that's the typical screw that pushes against the post on the inside of the banjo wall. More about that later. Of note as to Robust customer service, Brent from Robust reached out to me within a couple days of my order to make sure that it wasn't an error since they don't have me in their database as owning a robo robust scout lathe. Upon confirming the lathe that I would be using on, Brent informed me that I would have to use the keeper, he called it from the old banjo, because the gap between the ways on the grizzly was less than the gap on the scout. It took 18 days for my new banjo to ship from Robust. While I didn't know what a keeper was, I can confirm that I didn't need to use the keeper from the Grizzly Banjo. The keeper is the plate underneath the ways that's pulled tight by the bolt to keep the banjo from moving. It presses against the underside of the ways. Okay, here's the problem. So this is the on the old banjo. That plate right there. And this is on the robust. You can see that this is much smaller on the original because it's <laughs> made for the grizzly lathe. Of course, this was made for the robust lathe, the sweet six or not sweet sixteen. Ah, I'll look it up. And this one is the robust is larger here, so it doesn't quite fit. That won't fit down in there like this does. That fits down in there, nice and tight. That's too big to go down in there. And obviously, I can't put this on here without having a whole lot of slop. So, that's not really gonna work, is it? The bolt from the Grizzly Banjo was larger than the bolt holding the keeper on from the Robust Banjo. In order to fix that size, I used a nylon washer that I turned down through a trial and error process. Since I was using the Grizzly Banjo, that meant I was using the, the Grizzly Keeper, which meant I had to remove it, the bolt and the keeper as I snuck up on the correct size when I turned down the nylon washer.
I press the nylon washer into the Grizzly Keeper, then both on to the keeper bolt of the robust spanja. I put a steel washer under the keeper so that the keeper nut did not press the new nylon spacer through the keeper because that hole was larger. <laughs> then I had to take it all back apart because I remembered that the keeper goes under the bedways. I didn't want to have to fight with the Grizzly's tailstock. Oh, I only got a couple threads. This might already be in locked position. Oh, yeah, it's already in locked position. I was ready to test the new banjo. Then I found out two things that the Scout banjo does not use the same clapping system as the robust other lathes and that my tool rest posts were too small. I was disappointed to find out that the Scout banjo used the same clamping system as my Grizzly, albeit with a metal handle instead of plastic. My son suggested that I use a brass coupler as a sleeve for the tool rest post. We use a tool rest locking hole to mark on the brass spacer where we need to drill, to drill the hole for the tool rest locking screw to go through. Easy for you to say. I clamped the brass spacer into the banjo and my son not trusting his dad to drill a straight hole decided he would drill it. With a hole through the brass insert, the tool rest locking handle screw locks the tool rust in place. We needed to sand the inside of the brass insert by hand to allow for easy insertion and removal of the tool rest. It was just too tight of a fit. Does the other one go down in it? What other one? The other uh, rest. I don't know. as I needed to make this work from the old banjo to the new one. The tower section of the robust banjo is taller than the tower section, that's what I'm calling it, of the grizzly banjo so not all of my tool rests were able to be used if I wanted them to be below or at center line. Forget that. Of course, removing the brass insert will allow me to use any standard one inch post tool rest as long as it's not too tall. I'm not sure that would have even been needed if this robust tool rest had used the same as the Sweet 16 and uh, what is the other one? Oh, American Beauty locking system. Here's a little snippet of my next turning project. The placement of the tool rust would not have been possible with my old banjo. The robust banjo moves freely 
allowing most of the time for just one, ho one hand operation. I would give the banjo an A-, minus, and that's only because when you're using the locking, the tool rest locking screw, sometimes that handle gets in the way. Of course the brass insert wouldn't even be needed if I were using the one inch post tool rest for which it was designed. <laughs> 